There is something very unsettling about this disease, but I can't quite tell what it is. With Lunar Sedata Syndrome, a patient's memory and self-awareness deteriorate in such a manner that their whole personality breaks down. Ultimately, all of the patient's memories are forgotten. They, are, they become unable to do anything but die, or AND die. Before that stage of the disease, most patients choose some other, more natural form of death. The patient is gradually broken, like being drunk on this terrible disease, and you can see their body tremble. Even Dr. Hybra himself, who thinks that the Lunar Sedata Syndrome endemic is a unique disease, cannot quite grasp a decisive treatment. The doctor's treatments focus on surgery and folk remedies, confronting this disease with many different cures. Tomorrow I plan on researching these treatments in more detail. Hmm. Oh, I've got a key. Small iron key. That looks like a key that's about to snap. Lying beside the diary. Where's that take us to? Huh? Oh. Hallway to examining room. Okay. Medical records office, the director's office, the hallway to the director's office. Cool. Nice. There are more things. Whoa. That's fun. Alright. Red crystals that I can't use. How fun. It's more of these that keep jumping me. Can I go through here? No. Darn. Well, it was worth a shot. Can I turn? Thank you. Jesus. <laughs> Trying my damnedest. Now back to the main hallway, I guess. Or the lobby, I mean. Oh, <laughs> it looks so goofy. Oh, we're gonna have to fight what's of like, hair chick again? Please, no. Leave me be, please. Ah, thank you. Oh god. Oh god, Jesus. You bastard. Ugh. What the hell was that? What's he holding? Is that a knife? Oh god. Well, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Oh, there he is. Oh! I was not expecting that jump scare. That was a pretty good one. It certainly got me, that's for sure. I should have expected it. Ah, shame on me. I don't know what the hell it is with him like, screaming at me. Ah! Every time. Kidnapping case. Prosecution material. Something was left behind where the ghost was. Hmm. So I am an, I am an official at Hybra Hospital. This is my disposition, or deposition, about the kidnapping incident that occurred some days ago. From the well outside of the hospital, I heard an echo of a child's voice. At first I thought I was hearing things or imagining it. Then I began to hear the voice more, more and more clearly. A tearful voice and a different hollow moaning voice. It's those children, the children that were kidnapped. I can't stand this anymore. Hurry before it's too late, even as I write this, those children are being destroyed. Please investigate this hospital as soon as possible. Thank you. That was him then. I don't know who that is, the assistant? That was a pretty good jump scare though. Did you see it? I don't actually know what he said. It was did you see it or did you destroy it? I can't remember. It was one or the other. Oh yeah, we have this room to go through too. Oh, too many rooms. And now we're in the flickering corridor. My favourite of rooms. <laughs> Look at this cloth. What? I keep forgetting I have to constantly wave it off my face. It's done. Oh, really? Oh god. Blech. Oh god, hi. Way up. Oh dear. I didn't see the girl. What a bitch. What? Alright, so they're in the wall. That's fun. Oh, that's not fun. No, 
I just want to run. I don't want to be surrounded, that's the thing. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, the girl's like right in front of me. I think I'm good. Oh my god, I don't like fighting multiple at once. No, it's a pain. Okay. Max shot. The thing I don't understand with the torch is I don't know how I'm supposed to know when I have max shot or not. Oh god, there's a girl. Crap. She went to grab. Oh, she got me again. Oh my god, you're a bitch. What a hoe. Asshole. Ah. Fighting multiple at once is a pain. It's difficult. I have so many points, it's fine. I'll use up two of these and I'll buy two back. Then it's like nothing happened. Yeah. I get loads of points. Like, an incredible amount of points. Several thousand points per ghost encounter. It's ridiculous. Oh, is, that gonna, is that the guy we saw? Hi, bro. Don't follow him! Oh. Yep. Yeah, we'll just use the key I just got. Duh. The bloody phone again? You're kidding me. Alright, use the shop. There we go, perfect. I'll probably make that the points back in no time. I mean, since starting this chapter, I have gained around about 50k-ish points. I had about 90-some. Yeah, I had 90,000. So I've definitely gained a lot. And what's this one gonna say? What now? So have you read the letter already? That's what I'm asking. Faintly from the well, that voice is... The children are probably... dead. In the basement of this hospital. Oh! Oh yeah! I don't know anymore. I thought it was the basement of the other hospital. Oh god, Jesus. I'm gonna say I'm ready. Oh. Oh god, hi. I'm in a bad spot. Well, we got the nurse. Just a matter of figuring out where the others are. There they are. I really wish I could, like, cir not circle strafe, but... Oh, I can actually speed it up by holding down Z. Oh. The more you know. You're over there. I think. Yeah, there you are. Got him! Ah, <sighs> not bad. Oh, wow, that recovery rate is pretty damn good. It's not hugely different, but it is pretty different. There we go, I've got my points back. 20k! Nice. Not bad. Alrighty. So we need to get to the basement, basically. How the hell- wait a minute. We chased Hybera in here. How did he- oh, whatever. Again, I shouldn't be questioning the logistics of things. I'm using a flashlight to take pictures of things. I used the key. Yeah, it just... Don't make sense. If he ran in here before me, he should have gone into the elevator right away. I not waited, but whatever. Here we are. 
Okay, so we have a desk. And some other things. We have some IVs, the usual. Oh, nice. It's the assistant's notebook. Again. Interview Takashi Aiba. Found an interview tape. Oh, the Lunar Siddhartha and the Moon. Picked up a document. Okay, so in minor cases of Lunar Siddhartha, fragmentary memory loss and behavior similar to sleepwalking can be observed. Characteristically, the symptoms vary with the waxing and waning of the moon. When the moon is full, the patient's condition is stable, but there is a tendency to go outside and seek the moonlight. Around the new moon, the patient becomes more unstable and increasingly frightened. Once, Lunar Siddhartha was called moonwalking, or haunted walking, which seems to be derived from that behavior. In severe cases, the patient's will uh, the patient loses all memory, or almost all memory, but remains attracted to the moonlight and seeks out windowsills and rooftops. Then the patient bathes in the moonlight. More lucid patients describe the feeling as momentarily regaining something they've lost. A person who has lost their memory will always look up at the mo or look up to the moon. Such an obs odd symptom can surely happen in a psychologically disturbed individual, but there is no explanation why a group of people would display the same symptoms. Since this is a, this is a peculiar, peculiarity of Rugetsu Island's cultural sphere, there must be a relationship to its beliefs and customs. Hmm. Okay. Do I have anything new here? No. <laughs> okay. I do have a new tape though. As well as this. Oh, the new phone calls, but I don't care. So, interview of Takashi Aiba. The doctor sounds pleasant. Ah, oh, don't worry about it. You'll recover. What a fun guy. Ah, dear. I was about to say, where do I go? <laughs> the only way I can go. I don't even know. Is there anything else I can look at? Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Yes, I want to go in here, if I can. I think it's this room? Or this door? Oh, slow motion. That's a good sign. Yeah, it should be behind the... Yeah, there we go. I'm in the lobby! Yeah, I'm in the right place. I don't know if there's anything in here, though. I just came in here because I thought maybe. Oh, yeah, there is. There's a few things. Oh, really? Oh. Eh. Nurse placing note. Perfect. God, I fumble about so bloody much. Herbal medicine. Sacred water? My god. Spoiling me, game. There's the note. Waning moon card. Oh. Picked up a small wooden token. It looks fairly old. Okay. I guess I needed that. It said she was placing a note. Since when is a card a note? I hate that post. Because there's a face on it. It's like covered in stuff, I think. This looks gross. It's awful, man. I don't like it. Oh, slow mo. So there we go, you now know. There's the trick. If it's a door you can open, the game will go into slow motion.
Assistant hiding something? Okay. Hmm. So it's still the assistant. I thought we just beat him. I suppose it's not. Oh god, this spooked me, Jesus. Ugh. Bit of bit of bit of bit of. Oh, there's a mask. Oh. Hold on. Yeah, it's a few things. Okay. Is that all we have? Guess so. I don't know if this is what I should be grabbing now or not. I don't know. Cloudy moon box. Ah, oh, I wonder if that's what I needed the card for. There's a box with clouded moons carved on it. It seems to have some mechanism and won't open. Oh. The pattern show a waxing moon and a waning moon. There are two grooved slots in the side. Can I combine items? Did Fatal Frame literally just become Resident Evil? <laughs> oh, I can't. Okay, well, whatever. I was just wondering. If it let me combine, then yeah, it's like it's literally Resident Evil. Beru beru, beru beru. Assistance note three. There is something on the desk. Ooh, seven pages. Daily treatment of Luna Sedata syndrome continues. While we are making progress with Dr. Hybera's treatment, the methods are so different from the accepted me medical standard that I feel quite confused. Dr. Hybera tends to tends to his own unique methods, as well as honouring this island's customs and using traditional treatment methods. This is especially true for treatments with their own special utensils, some of which would be unthinkable in other hospitals. What leaves me in even greater discomfort is the language used in this hospital which bears no resemblance to proper medical terminology. Patients in a progressed state show fear of mirrors, water, or other items that are able to reflect their faces. Judging from their behaviour, there must be moments when the patient feels that it's not his or her face that is reflected in the mirror. On this island, this is called budding. And this word is used in the hospital as a regular term. Furthermore, a state called blooming is feared the most. I don't know what kind of state this is, but everybody reacts strongly and pales at the word blooming. Apparently the story goes that only the person who is budding can see their own face in this budding state. Of course, the sense of the word is not just to have budded. Upon seeing the face of another more severe patient, the symptoms can be transferred which is called resonance. But surely this can't be so extreme. It's difficult to imagine, but there might be a contagious form of Luna Sedata Syndrome. And now, starting from tomorrow, Dr. Hyper is letting me do the preparations. I wonder what the so-called Ceremony of Passage treatment method is like. What am I supposed to do? All of this leaves me quite concerned. Yeah, blooming is when... I don't know how to explain it, really. If I were to compare it to Fatal Frame 2, Blooming, in this game, is the equivalent to Fatal Frame 2 when the ghost turns purple. They essentially just get a boost to all of their stats. Like, they get more health, I think. Um, they're faster, they attack harder. But I don't know how you can tell when you've made them bloom. Like, making them bloom is when their face starts to distort, but it's, it's just, I guess it's hard to tell when you've done it. Aside from, unless you look at the ghost list. If you look at that, then you'll be able to tell. I guess. So we got more things. Not from that. More notes. Oh, there we go, people. So, Shoji Katagiri. LS treatment. Oh, Luna Sedata. Traditional therapy failed, alternate methods, attempted special instruments, music therapy, neurosurgery, etc. Are blooming, budding stages of the syn syndrome. Ceremony of Passage. Am I supposed to answer the machine? I guess so. Oh yeah. There's a lot of masks. What? The lamp in the director's office is turned on. Is somebody here? Oh, hi. Yes. <laughs> To answer that, yes. This is a really small room, which sucks. I have no idea what he's doing. There's 4,000 points. I'm just gonna wait. 
I just hope he shows up in front of me. There he is. No. I can see what you were trying to do. Yeah, he was like crouched down about to pounce. Oh, there he is. We got him. I don't understand what it is he's holding. Like, is it a note? Is it a knife? Is it both? God knows. Well, we got him. So now what do I do? The director's office. Oh, the lamp. Oh. How do I get to that? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, right. I'm an idiot. I'm probably supposed to go in there. Uh, I'm stuck on the doorway. Or not. No. I just assume because it said the lamp is on. Is somebody there? Can I go through here then? Oh, this will be what leads to the basement. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Oh, I understand. Yeah, I need to do this to get to the basement to find whatever his name was. Hi, Bara. More red crystals. A whole lot of them. So, wait a minute. This is the director's office. Is that not where I've already been? Oh. Wait, what? Oh, that's creepy. Director crossing before door. It just looked like he was about to wave me down. H Hello! I can still see him. No, what I was going to do is check the map. Oh, right, I see. Never mind. Yeah, I was in here. Where I crossed into was here. I thought it led into this for some reason. I am foolish. That is not the case. He walked for a very long time over this way. But whatever. Hmm? Okay, we have a few, a few things. A uh, book, to begin with. Oh. Blue crystals, to begin with. The usual stuff. We have something over there. Is that the only thing? Another note. Assistance notebook. Number four. Oh no, it's Dr. Hybra's note. Looks like a, no a note left by the director. My family has been protecting and continuing the ritual, acting as head priests. At the same time, they have fought against the Lunar Sedata Syndrome as spiritual healers. As for me, I protect the teachings of the Hybra family and have built a hospital to treat patients of Lunar Sedata Syndrome, researching it from a medical perspective. I believe it is my mission to research Lunar Sedata using a combination of traditional and medical methods. The inhabitants of this island once tackle investigations into the human soul with their own original methods. One of these methods was the Kagura masks. In the Kagura dance, the Utsawa, which means vessel, wears a mask listens intently to the music and loses herself within it. The Kanade's mask regulates the rhythm and beats and beat of the dance. By wearing the masks, various parts of the human brain are stimulated. This is truly interesting. The possibility of the mask having power over the brain must be explored. The door to that as yet untouched area is now open. This was once the ultimate end to the Rugetsu Kagura dance. Now it was likely the ceremony of passing, or passing's true form. The ceremony is a potent way to enter the, the mind's abyss. But because it caused a disaster, the ceremony has been stopped for a long time and become taboo. That terrible tradition of disaster. However, in order to overcome this illness, we must venture into the taboo. The lunar ecli eclipse occurs once every ten years. This opportunity to perform it must, again, must not escape. We have no time. So we got more records. So I should get through Hybra. So LS Research 1, a variety of treatment methods, psych... I think it's psych, like psychology. Surgery, music, were masks used? Bum bum bum. Oops. And we learned about the ceremony. Ceremony of Passage. The Rugetsu Kagura dance was once called a different name, or called by a different name. The name of the old Kagura 
is Ceremony of Passage. It once caused a tragedy and was stopped, and afterward it became detested and feared, it was then sealed away. Hmm. Hmm. What else we got? Is there really nothing else here? Oh, there we go. An intercom is on top of the desk. There is a row of numbers on the panel. What? What the hell do you mean? Row of numbers? What? I'm very confused. I don't understand what it means. <laughs> Files and research are carefully sorted. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? Why is that a surprise? Hmm. The glass doors are open. Oh! Oh, there's something behind this. There seems to be a cool, cool air flowing from behind the cabinet. Oh, right, I see, I think. There's something there, yeah. Is that what the intercom's all about? Hmm. Because it mentions there are, like, panels. Or numbers, or something. An intercom is on top of the desk. There is a row of numbers on the panel. I don't get it. What does it mean? Clearly interacting with that is what would open the way, right? Like, that's my guess. But I'm not entirely sure. Um. Hmm. I'm just very confused. Do I have anything in my notes? Intercom. Like, you mentioned the intercom for the other one, too. Hmm. I don't know. I could just continue onwards down the stairs to the basement. I don't really know what else I can do in here. I can't open the cabinet. Or move the cabinet. That's clearly where the director wandered off to, though. So what have we got down here? Those are some loud footprints. Footsteps. <laughs> now this seems like a fun place. Wait, what? Oh. <sighs> Assistant on other side of bars. God damn it, not again. Not again. Wait, 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 wait. What? Oh dear. Okay, good. <laughs> but can I grab that? Oh yeah, nice. The waxing moon card. I don't know why the hell this disconnected. That was weird. Picked up a small box with the crescent moon design. Using the waxing moon and the waning moon keys, keys you open the box. Oh. 438951. There's a single sheet of paper inside. It has a series of digits and what seemed to be a fragment of tanker poetry written on it. Filing cabinet. Ah, oh, right. 438951. The magic of the full moon. The signs of a square. What? 45... Oh, fuck. I don't remember. 438? Hmm. 438951, I think? Is that correct? I don't know if I need to, I probably have to do it on both, maybe. Or it's just this room, but I don't know. Mm. 438951. Can I examine? Why does it only happen sometimes? There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh! There are numbers lined up on the intercom panel. 
So four three eight nine five one dash 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 eight six seven five three zero nine. I have a feeling that's a code from something. <laughs> How's it going, Azareth? What's that do? I'm very confused. Hmm. Hmm. As Gladys would say, still alive. Hmm. Yeah, step away. I, I think I have a note, maybe. Let's have a look at the note that I just picked up. It's like a memo or something. No, these are files? Where the hell were these? It was what I got from inside of the box. Oh, unless it's not a note, it's an item. Oh, wait. God, this is so awkward to control. It's not there either. What? I'm so confused. Let's see, is it under this? No. Because it had like a hint with it, but I've forgotten what it said. Completely, so... Oh, there it is. Encrypted memo. Numbers in a fragment of, a Japan of Japanese poetry are written on a scrap of grid paper. It looks like a code. The magic of the full moon. The size of a square. Huh? Hmm. The magic of a. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't get it. 